Hey booktube! Well, I thought I'd go ahead and do a Friday Reads video today since I'm off of work and I'm just going to go ahead and talk about some of the things I finished reading and what I'm currently reading. I recently finished Nick and Charlie by Alice Oseman. This is um, a solitaire novella. Uh, solitaire is the name of the book where the characters first appeared, which I haven't read that, but I did read Heartstopper Volume 1 and 2, which is a graphic novel in which the characters uh, appear, and I really enjoyed the graphic novel. I'm waiting for Volume 3 to come out. There's also a Volume 4 uh, in physical form, but 3 hasn't come out yet in Kindle. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's about Nick and Charlie and their romance that kind of develops while they're in school together. Nick is the eldest by one year. Uh, this particular story is a, a little bit after their relationship has developed. It's, it's been going on for a couple of years now while they're in school. And uh, so it's further along from the Heartstopper graphic novels where they first meet and everything. But within here, uh, Nick is getting ready to go off to university, and um, he's very excited about it and is constantly talking about it, but it's causing Charlie to have anxiety about their relationship and whether it'll continue. Can a long-distance relationship work for them? And he starts to kind of panic about it. And it's just a cute little story about their relationship and uh, this kind of little glitch in, in it and whether it'll survive or not. But I really enjoy the characters and stuff. Um, it's a cute little addition if you if you enjoy the Heartstopper books or the graphic novels, uh, it's worth picking this one up. Otherwise, if it's on its own, you wouldn't really know anything about the characters too much. I think Heartstopper is the best way to start out and then kind of delve back into either the characters through here or even this other novel, Solitaire, which I may pick up eventually. Another one I finished, which I'll have to bring up here in just a moment, is... Um... Oh, no, actually, that's the only one I finished. <laughs> what I'm currently reading is um, this one here, which is Pew by Catherine Lacey. This is a very short novel. I think it's on Kindle. It's only like a little over 200 pages. I've seen some phys uh, physical copies of it. It's, it's fairly thin. Uh, and this is about um, a person who is found in a small kind of southern town sleeping on a church pew. And the person doesn't talk. Uh, they um, are very... It's very unusual. They're they're they appeared very genderless, um, racially ambiguous. Uh, so no one really knows anything about this person. How to identify them? Uh, like I said, male, female, nothing. They, it, everyone sees something different in this person, and they named them Pew since they were found on a church pew. And one uh, family brings Pew home, um, kind of to take care of him and see if they can get this person to talk and and. Um, find out, you know, how they came to be there. It's kind of an interesting um, look at uh, gender identity and uh, small town and, and family. And, and just so far, it's, I'm finding it really, really interesting. Uh, I picked this one up because uh, I heard about it on the um, NB Book Club, which is a, a non-binary book club uh, on Instagram. And uh, this was one of the reads. So just checking that one out right now. Uh, really intriguing. Uh, other one I'm reading, actually... Uh, this one is a audiobook. This is my current audiobook I'm listening to. And I didn't know anything about it when I picked it up. I, I'm familiar with the author. I've read some books by the author, and you'll know the name right away. Um, this is uh, Kaz Kazuo Ishiguro's latest book, Clara and the Sun. Uh, like I said, I just downloaded it, started listening to it. And I'm like, oh, this is pretty interesting. It has a bit of a sci-fi twist. Uh, Clara is an AF, or an artificial friend. And we encounter her story through her her own thoughts and everything she's currently in a shop where people come to purchase afs uh and uh there's some fascination with the sun too and the the, the health that it brings i guess it, it kind of like i think they're solar powered so they kind of solar charge and each each uh, af is kind of given their um time in the window um, people come by and and look in the windows. So they come in and shop, and and she's hoping to, uh, a customer will one day come in and choose her. And during this time, uh, especially at the beginning, she's just kind of observing. She's a very uh, observational. She sees a lot of detail uh, in just a, in a simple glance, and that's kind of makes her a little bit more unusual than others. She's not like the latest model, so that's kind of going against her a bit. But she's like I said, she's hoping to be chosen by somebody, and it's just an interesting kind of look at the world through the point of view of this artificial friend and, and I'm curious to see where this is going to go like I said I don't I didn't know much about it I didn't know anything really about it going in other than I'm familiar with the author uh, so far it's a very slow burn um, 
but uh, there's some things I, I, I'm curious about some of the other characters as to what's going on with them and 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 just the world itself. I'd like, I need a little bit more of the world um, outside. We don't have a lot of detail of that going on. So well, it's a little slow, but I'm sticking with it so far. And the other book I'm currently reading uh, is Girl Man's Up. This is by M.E. Gerard. I've seen it pop up on some Goodreads uh, lists and things. It's uh, Harper Teen Publishing, and it's um, about a genderqueer lesbian character. Uh, her name is Pen Pen Olivia, or whatever her name is. Her her first name is Penelope, but she doesn't like her full name. She goes by Pen. Uh, she likes to uh, appear a, a masculine uh, presenting, but she doesn't consider herself a boy or transgender or anything like that, but just how she likes to be. She just, she just wants to be how she wants. She wants to dress how she prefers. She wants to cut her hair. The problem is she has very old world Portuguese parents who are very strict on what they think a woman and a man should look like. You know, um, girls should have long hair, wear dresses and makeup. She wants none of that. And eventually she, she gets fed up and even cuts her hair. Uh, and her, her mom just has a fit. Uh, the, she has an older brother named Johnny who sticks up for her quite often and it causes a rift um, between him and, and, and the parents because, you know, he's always on her side. She also has a, a friend named Colby who back when they were like nine years old, he kind of kind of stuck up for her when other people were kind of like, you know, saying, what are you trying to be a boy? Blah, blah, blah. And uh, so she sees a lot of, she feels a lot of loyalty towards him. So she's kind of like his wingman um, helping him, uh, helping introduce him to two girls um because to get your foot in the door kind of thing you know and he ends up with one girl and then he goes with another girl and she's constantly like introducing him and stuff and so far I'm, I'm a little troubled by the character um I can obviously understand how she feels about what she's wanting to dress and then appear and just be yourself uh without people you know putting you in a box like oh you should be this way or you should wear this or you know whatever uh, I can definitely understand that. The thing I don't like so far about her character is is her loyalty to Colby and, and the way he, you know, treats these women like, you know, like they're disposable. I, I just don't like the fact that she kind of is, is still being loyal to him when she knows what he's like. Um, that's a bit troublesome, but it's about her uh, kind of uh, falling for this girl and her, her kind of... Uh, her love relationship kind of developing with that, her develop, her relationship with her parents, her brother, and kind of like the the title of Girl Man's Up, it's not becoming a man or whatever. It's it's sort of like that terminology, like, oh, man up, you know, be tough, stand up for yourself. And she's trying to learn how to do that instead of having either Colby or her brother or whatever step in for her and in situations where she doesn't speak up for herself. So that's what it's so far. Like I said, I have mixed feelings about the main character, but... So I'm currently reading Pew, Girl Man's Up, and uh, Claire and the Sun. So juggling a little bit of everything, an ebook, a physical book, and an audio book. What are you guys reading? Anything interesting? Anything I should know about? Well, let me know down below. And if you've read any of these, uh, you know, just no spoilers. <laughs> just let me know what you thought about them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.